Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna be going over the lesser part of my cargo. Pretty fun, pretty fun deck. So it looks like we are starting off with a Wrangler. Pretty sick, pretty sweet. And we have escape rope, so we can actually escape into our web pod and we can use a web pod web out ability. I think that would be a good idea. I don't really know it's going for us. We're facing the long deck trail. We might do be doing three matches or three matches. Depend how long these matches go. Oh, look nice. So we are actually going to ultra ball away and bought a bit of dumbbells and aether because we don't really need aether in a the trio facing the trio. Um let's get ourselves a wind pod and that'd be pretty nice. Put that there. Put this there. Kind of escape work. Yeah, I think we're gonna just copycat. That'd be a pretty nice idea. We do have one pod on the top and we can get a lesser pod. And we're going to retreat for free with our whip out ability. And that'd be it. Gonna pass it on. We could go Lele Guzma to knock out the, the trio. I think that would be our best bet. Did toss out our grass energy, which is fine. We got we got eight of them. Nine or eight energies in the deck. It's not really pretty decent. We um, we're gonna toss out these two. We're gonna get ourselves a Galusipod. And we do have both our Galusipods inside the deck. Once we get more to the pod, I will add at least three. I think all you need is three Galissa pod on your Galissa pod more cargo deck. You don't need more than, more than three. I'll put that right there. We're on the top of the lay. I think body build of dumbbells is pretty good. We are going to then instruct for a three. We do have another one pod, which is awesome. And then we do have a grass energy. Then we're going to force a person for 120 taking that first knockout of the game. I mean, this is a, a long deck trade deck, so it's not really all that great when it doesn't get set up. But we're not doing too bad. Let's see what our opponent will bring up here. Maybe he maybe he went AFK. No. Does it show the timer? Why not for us? Yeah, I think you want AFK. But I do want to finish this game so we can get the XP point. I don't even feel out what's the AFK stuff now. Yeah, victory. Uh, I think we're going to do two more matches. Yeah. 
for that race of all will go pretty nicely with our the rest of our deck. That's gonna be a lot of XP to actually get that for. Alright, looks like we're facing a metal steel and what well, metal psychic and grass type deck. Which I'm taking Scizor, and then he has Top Blue Lele. And it looks like we are going first, which is fan looking casted. And we start off with a Wimp Pod, and we get Valve Body Burn Numbers, but we don't have any other supporter besides Acerola. Just kind of get kind of sticky in such a shoe. In, in some situation, we can't wake up. Hey, at least we got two mulligans. We're probably facing some type of Metagross deck with the Metagross Steven deck. Having mulligan is always worth, worth it. And we do have Slugma, which is fantastic. And we do have a Top of Lele, which we can always search for a supporter, which is pretty sweet. And we're gonna put Body Button and Dumbbells on there. We're gonna search for another Wind Pod. Think would be the best bet, and then next time we can actually get our Galissa pot out, get Dr. Lele, search for one attack. Yes, uh, I think Lele will be. Oh, we don't have Lele, I think Lele is fine. Yeah, we could grab a copycat. I'm pretty sure I put one copy of Lele in here. Just in case. And I don't see a Galista Pod, but we do have we do have Cynthia for next turn. Ah, it's probably should have wimped out. I didn't use escape rope. So he does get two hits, so he can search up for two evolution. I can always just ace a roller if I get a Galitha Pod, but we don't have any damage count on it. Hmm. So here we see a wonder tag, probably get in Cynthia or like something. Shuffle to draw some cards. That would be my guess. Oh, Olivia. That's kind of interesting. Get two Pokemon GS reveal and put them in your hand and then shuffle your dead body, get two Metagross. Maybe. We will see a Necrozma GX and a Metagross GX. Alright. Do we see it like a Beldum going down? No, we just pass on. Cool, cool, cool. So there's a DCE. We can actually put that on this one pod. Hmm. Now let's put it on this one just in case we can get like a Galus pod and do armor press. That'd be pretty sweet. We do have an Ultra Ball. We have a, another Slugma. Is pretty dope. We can actually discard a Fibroar and a Grass type energy so we get a Galassipod. And we got two Galassipod in here, which is pretty sweet. I would like to get a Mercargo, but we don't really have the resources to. We kind of just want to. I don't know if we can cross and cut, but we can do it next turn. Just not just thing out. Could be a way to cross and cut. Nice, we get another one pod. We can put that down just in case we want an Ace Roller, and we get another little pod on our bench.
So G Stevens always turns to an end. Which is fine by me. I think this time we will do cross attack DX. Just to get that early retreat. So it gives him some type of toolbox there with Espeon. See a metal going down on the circle layer and nice he actually just use escape rope to try to get his easy knockout. It's pretty it's pretty sweet. And taking our first, our two prize card, not first prize card, but taking another two prize card, and we get another escape rope, and we actually get a, another energy. Get a retreat into top of Lily, an escape rope into top of Lily, retreat into, and then try to knock out another one of the Pokemon, or we can just do armor press, taking 20, 30 less damage. See what he does first. So he is probably doing like 250, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250. We exactly have 250, which is can't bad. Oh, but we take 30 less damage. So. Really? Doesn't have probably any resistance, huh? Two ten, two fifty. Oh, basic grass type. <clears throat> Whoops. All right, you have a cargo, which is pretty pretty neat. What's it? How much is he doing this time? Um, let's see. He's doing two hundred and twenty lifts. That so yeah, he goes. Alright, he's gonna two three here. That means he needs a at least a Guzma. I feel like I actually want Oh we need to copy that. Copy this uh we just get MPF. Just in case he used up all his resources and then he has one card left, so I think Cynthia would be in the right bet. So I'll just put a grass energy on here, just in case. Ooh, see a meta ghost coming down. Nothing he can actually attach onto the Espeon, so he can, he's kind of. Oh, he has a retreat card of one, so. Not looking to. Wait, how much is he doing with base 60 Claw Slash? Oh, putting a DCE onto the Espeon and doing Claw Slash for a 60. Kinda interesting. He already used up his GS attack, so he can't really divide it. And 
plus hot orientation on energy. So that's kind of interesting the way that he did that. The effects are going on now. See a cosmog. So those are another easy one prize attacker. We can get Cynthia we wanted. Be pretty sweet. And we don't get another one pod. Let me give us a pod. Put that right there. I right, kind of just want to draw more, bro. Map. I don't think you need two more cargos, but just in case, I'm gonna have two more cargos on the bench. But maybe you will if you have like an Arangri or something. Nah, I don't really know how to play Glow Spot, so this is really like my first time. So I don't know if Zorg GX is better or just having more cargo on a bench. Oh, beast room. What did they add to Discord too? Oh, Discord 3 energies. So we can put up our basic Pokemon, make him waste 3 energies. Oh, that actually helped us out too. Zoro DCE. Ooh, Bean has to talk to Layla. Yikers. We do have escape rope though. I think we're just going to we do have a copycat, we do that. Just trying to be a little bit greedy here. Escape rope. But we have another DCE, so that's fine. Hmm.
over that up there. No. Yeah, it's gonna be game. GD to an opponent. And I think that might be it for the gameplay. Hopefully you guys did like today's upload with West Bar and Macargo. We'll do a movie known in the chat down below with links in the spider, the West Bar, Macargo, or the West Bar Zorark. Let me know. Let me tell you what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time.